Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are going to give you an update on three projects that we have been working on. Here we are in the pines, the back of the pines. One of the last times that we were together, we showed you um, kind of cleaning up this area, starting on this area because behind me, if you can probably see, we have gotten the post in the ground for the remaining part of the greenhouses that were at the nursery. We took them down to put the new greenhouse up. We had 24 feet left over from um, that greenhouse. So Jerry decided this would be a fantastic spot to do some dry storage. So that is what we are doing. So I wanna, let, I'll just talk and let him kind of show you the area. But if you remember when we were here, um, there was like a pine tree that was like right here and it made it really tight to get in here. So of course we showed you taking that down, but he and Andrew worked for another, I think maybe day and a half in here. And this is what it looks like now. So this will be a nice, um, easy access into this dry storage. It is not gonna have end walls. So it'll be open on the front and it will be open um, in the back. These posts are four foot on center. So there are six of them going down, hence the 24 feet long, 22 feet wide. Then the next step here will be to take the hoops, to put the hoops in, get the purlins up, and there is the structure. Now, we went ahead and decided to kind of put this at an angle because I'm gonna spin around and let Jerry kind of show you what my viewpoint is. It's right in the back of our house. So especially here in the winter time, when all the leaves are off the trees, if we're in our backyard or on the patio, you'll be able to see this. And so we were talking and I was like, you know, hun, I just worry, especially um, in the winter time, like if we had some sort of like white plastic, white covering over this, which is traditionally what you would have on a dry storage. Um, but he was able to find through a greenhouse supply store, I think, but it's a heavy duty dark green fabric meant to go over dry storage. So that will be perfect because it'll be kind of camo and be tucked away in here. So he and Andrew, of course, cleaned out some, some trees. We left what we call, you know, the trees that are a little bit bigger, the nicer trees that will kind of grow and develop into maturity. But you'll notice right here that they had cleared out an area too. We used to have chickens, um, you know, for pets and, and laying eggs. And we ended up, I call it chicken math. You know, you start out with 10 and then we ended up with 26 over like the next couple of years. And it just got to be too big. So we kind of worked our way out of chickens, but we would like to bring some chickens back onto the property because we really enjoy them. This would be the perfect place to put a little coop because we'll have water and power out here. It's tucked away in the woods nice and shady for them. Um, so this is what we're thinking possibly by springtime when we get to some, some baby chicks that we can have their coop and run out here. What we're really thinking about putting in this area predominantly are like the bobcats, right? So both the little bobcat and then the big bobcat, they can go in here and then all of the attachments for the bobcats can go in here as well because those are um, with the hydraulics and all things. We like to keep them out of the weather, keep them a little bit protected. So that is a plan here. And then Jerry and Andrew kind of made just a little bit of a little pathway right through here um, because I had told you in that other video that we have a road that goes around the perimeter of the pines so we can get access from the back, from the front, all sorts of things. And then Jackson was helping Jerry and Andrew uh, this week and he was on the little bobcat and he created a little road to come through the side so you know you can get we have a lot of accessibility to here um, but this dry storage is going to be super super helpful be nice to get things kind of tucked away it'll be great now we have one other fun project in this vicinity that i want to share with you because when we were here I don't think we talked about, I don't think we did. I don't think we talked about it. Um, but 
because we are called creek side, right? The creek cuts our property, the whole length of our property. So in order for us to go from our house to over here, we have to go through um, across the road to the nursery. And it's, I mean, it's a little bit out of the way. So what we are going to do, and again, Jerry and Andrew had already started this, we're going to build a bridge right here. So you can see the path right through there that has been um, trimmed. There is a couple of stumps in there. Jerry left them up so that way he could come in with the bobcat and pull them out. But basically we have maple trees here on the right that are leaning. We're gonna limb those up a little bit, but in the fall, that tree is absolutely spectacular. It is this bright yellow, it is gorgeous. So that will be the edge on the right. And then on the left, there's a really nice poplar tree. We'll leave those. Um, so it's about, I think like six feet between the two. Um, so it'll be a nice bridge that we can come across here. The Polaris, the Kubota can come on it and the little Bobcat. So hopefully we'll make some progress with the bridge this week. So that's gonna be really fun um, to get that and it'll make it just a lot easier to access this area from our house to over here to this new storage area in the pines. Now, the next area that we want to show you a little update on is the utility closet shed building that we have built onto the new greenhouse. So let's head over to the nursery and check that out. Okay, so here we are at the new greenhouse with the lovely uh, little addition that we had put on the back. If you will remember, our friend and neighbor Matt has built this for us um, and just done a great job. It's always nice to get help whenever you can, and he has done a magnificent job. I mean, basically, it is just a one-room utility storage room. Um, We'll go inside here in just a second, but we went ahead, I think we talked about this one other time, we decided to do the shingles instead of the metal, green metal roof that we used on the little outhouse and the barn, um, a lot of it for heat reasons, but so it is, it is on, we've got the paneling up, it's fantastic. We are gonna go ahead and stain this the same color that the barn and the little outhouse are, so that way everything ties in together. But it's this great little nook back here behind the greenhouse, because remember, this is gonna store all the fertigation, so the irrigation, the fertilizer, the electrical, um, hold supplies in it, so forth and so on. I will tell you though that that Matt's a coffee lover just like we are. And when he was building it, we were joking that really we should forget about using it as a utility building and turn it into a little coffee shop and we could have a little window right here and people could come up and order their coffees uh, maybe one day, but not yet. So let's go inside and let's look inside of it. All right, so here we are into the greenhouse on this side. Not too much has changed inside of here since uh, we were here last, but here we go. So the building is just, you come in on one of the doors and it's just gonna be straight here in front of us. Matt has already gone ahead and uh, whew, the echo went away. Got the insulation in and then they're going to go ahead and have it covered in what, USB? It's, um, plywood. I just did regular plywood. We did plywood. Pine, it's like a pine plywood. A pine plywood that is a mouthful it's right over there we'll look at it so we'll get everything covered but of course because this really gets a lot of the hot afternoon sun obviously that's why we went ahead and insulated it um, and then even in the winter time so that things don't freeze so it is up we have just a couple more little areas to fill in uh, but remember this is where the electrical part will go all the whole brains of the greenhouse will go here um, and then on this side of the wall we will have all the irrigation and fertigation remember fertigation is just fertilizer irrigation put together so that way we can um, actually fertilize all the plants while we irrigate so it's a great system um, so it will go here and then we just have extra storage the plywood will go up and then we're going to paint it white just so that way it all um, is nice and bright and clear um, a light will go in here but when it's daytime it's really bright because we have the light from the greenhouse coming in we don't want to paint these walls. We don't want to cover these walls. We want that natural light to come in. Now on the greenhouse side of it though, when you're in the greenhouse and you're looking in, you can see into the little building 
we will handle that with plants and like fertilizer displays, that kind of thing. Helps hide it a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. The plywood is right over here. You can see all the electrical components are right here. Jerry and Josh will be um, hopefully getting on that pretty soon. I do know that a lot of, once we get that little building done, then that's when the electrical panels can go up, so forth and so on. Um, it's just a lot of logistics as far as making sure, you know, this step's done before you can move on to this step, so forth and so on. But yeah, so this is the plywood and then the white paint. So pretty simple, easy peasy, but there you go. Now, talking about when we were in the pines, the rest of that, the Quonset Hut greenhouses, they're up at the production lot. They have the bows on them, so let's go check those out. All right, here we are on our third location for the project tour update. So here we are, production area, right? We have, this is the greenhouse that we've turned into the dry storage, exactly like what we're going to do um, at the one in the pines. So imagine this exact same structure here in the pines where we were. Now, this one is practically done. There's only um, a couple of things that they have left to do on it. Again, this is, these posts are every four foot on center all the way down. Um, so what they have to do next is they're going to put a, um, that's what, a two by 10 yeah, board? Two by six. Two by six, excuse me, a two by six board that will run level at the base all the way down the length of both sides of the structure. What that is for is because this will be covered in a single layer of white polyplastic. So it's a solid white because this is dry storage. Again, we're not using this to grow in. So it'll have a single layer of that white plastic. It will come down, we'll have the wiggle wire on that board. So that's what it attaches to on both sides at the bottoms. And then this is the wiggle wire track left over. Um, so it will be wiggle wired on both ends. Again, both ends are going to be open. So it will be basically like a big tunnel of dry storage. So what are we going to put in here? Well, you see all these blue um, wrapped pallets. That is our soil. So it up here, it is our growing soil. So whether it's for shrubs or it's for annuals and hanging baskets, that is what is up here. So those can come in here. So that way when it rains, it'll get out of the rain. Now, of course, the, the, the um, blue plastic is to help keep it watertight, which it does 99% of the time, but there's always one that has a little bit of hole in it and then those bags get wet. Man, are they heady. So those can come up in here. We also have over here, let me show you, because right now we've got all of our supplies to start growing. So here we go. Here we have boxes, pallets of Proven Winners pots, Proven Winners trays, all sorts of things. Well, of course, this stuff needs to come out so that plants can go in to grow. So it is cardboard boxes. They can't be out in the rain. That does not work very well. So all of these can go into that dry storage. We could put equipment in there, lots of options. So that is what is gonna go on in there. And that, I mean, that part will go relatively quickly so we can have that because our first plants come the week of January the 18th. So our um, season is a getting, is a getting is about to get started all over again as far as the production side. So that is what is going in there. And then let's go over here because you know we had obviously the new greenhouse built, right? And we had the concrete laid down on the floor. Well, a certain someone sure does enjoy that concrete floor a whole lot. And he said, you know what? I really want to go ahead and do concrete floor here up in the production. So that is what we are going to do. Now, again, what can go in that dry storage? Fertilizer. Uh, because we've already gotten our pallets of shipment for of plant tone and then biotone. Yeah, this whole palette is biotone, the big bags of biotone and little bags of biotone, plant tone. So again, this can go in there, but I digress. 
This greenhouse is about to have a concrete floor. In fact, this is, we're filming this on Sunday. The concrete guys are coming tomorrow to go ahead and get everything, um, kind of like the prep work, right? So they're gonna grade it. I think that Jerry said they have to bring in one truckload of the crush and run um, gravel to get everything leveled up. And then they're gonna pour concrete on Wednesday. And some people were asking, you know, why do you have a concrete floor? Why would you not want to have gravel? As far as from a production standpoint, it makes life so much easier. Um, obviously, you're not going to get weeds coming up through concrete. Um, we have some that are coming up. Um, it's easy to disinfect. So before we begin our growing season, we can disinfect the floor. It's really hard to disinfect a gravel floor. Um, if there are messes, we can sweep it up blow it wash it out again now some of this you know the soil will go down if you have gravel and it goes down into the soil i mean into the gravel and kind of disappears but then that just provides area for the weeds to grow so it's a catch-22 so yes concrete is a bit more expensive um, but on the production side it makes life a lot easier um, so we will be sure and show you that whole um, fun ordeal that whole fun project on later on this week or following next week. I don't know, know when it'll actually air, but yeah. So this greenhouse is gonna get an upgrade to a gravel floor. Um, let's see, is there anything else we wanna talk about, Jerry? To, to a concrete floor. Yes, what did I say? Gravel. I'm sorry, y'all. So it is the Sunday after Christmas. So Christmas was yesterday. We had a fantastic Christmas. Um, it was a lot of fun, stayed at home the whole day. We just got back from doing Christmas with, Christmas with Jerry's family. But as you know, we also have Brenna. So we have this new puppy who has just been with us for a week and a day now. She's 10 weeks old. If you've ever had a puppy in your life, I swear it's like having a newborn slash toddler in your life again. So I have a little bit of the delirium. The reason that she is not with us right now is because she did go with us to Jerry's family's Christmas gathering. That poor pup is worn slap out. She is exhausted. It is the end of the day and man, she is done. So for everybody's sanity, she is taking a nap while we came up here to uh, film this video to give you some updates on all the projects that are going on. So yes, we will continue to have some great projects coming your way. We've got more projects than we know what to do with. So do not worry just because the retail portion of Creekside is closed does not mean that the videos are going to stop. They're going to keep on coming. I hope y'all have had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful new year. We'll see you before the new year. But as always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.